Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I have some Madden 23 news that I want to go ahead and break down for you guys. Um, it's basically just the feedback um, that EA got from the beta. And yeah, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and break it down. So, here's the opening note that they give us. Just basically saying, thanks for playing the beta, blah blah blah, all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get into the gameplay feedback, and there was a, there was a lot of stuff. Um, there was some franchise feedback too, but I'm just going to stick just to the gameplay. So first thing they got, which was the number one thing that they got, was don't drastically change the game. Yes, don't do it, because Madden 22 got patched so much, I can't even count how many times it did, okay? Just don't patch the game, and I'm glad that they're not going to do it too much. Going on to the next one, add referees back to the game on the field, um, I guess they can't, I don't know why, I mean, I, I personally don't care, I guess it'd be cool to see refs, but I mean, whatever, it's, it's refs, who cares. Play awareness, it's too easy to run the same plays over and over again, they said that they've made a number of changes, um, and since the closed beta closed, and these are the changes coming up. Um, I mean, it's Madden, there's always going to be a meta, you're always going to be able to run the same play over and over again. But, um, to get into some of the changes, um, here they are. We have logic added so that defensive backs are playing linebacker positions. They have slower reaction time to the run game. Big improvement, it looks like they're trying to cut down on the safety to linebacker meta. Um, removability, hot route tight end to pass block when two point, who cares. Adjust the corner route in bunch formations and the corner hot route in the hot route master slot slot apprentice abilities to align with the other corner routes throughout the playbooks. Now, this to me is a big change that they're making. I'm not exactly sure what it's specifically doing, but it seems that they're trying to take away from the bunch meta because bunch has always just been such an overpowered meta it seems like they're trying to take away from that a little bit and i'm interested to see on on how they do it um and then the last thing made improvements to man coverage pre-snap alignment versus bunch formation again another bunch thing helping probably the man just be able to not line up and stack on each other and trip over each other whatever good changes good changes okay Pulling linemen are too slow or indecisive. Tuning and AI changes were made to make pulling linemen be more explosive through the line of scrimmage. And on top of foundational improvements, you'll have to keep an eye on the speed rating of pulling linemen. So basically just kind of feeding into the whole um, ratings or mattering, matter more and, and all that type of stuff. So good change. I like having explosive linemen, especially in the run game. Pass blocking isn't strong enough, and there's too many insta sheds. Now, guys, this is gonna be the make or break thing about Madden this year, um, because they took away nano detection and a gapping is back. Now, to briefly explain that, in Madden 22, when defensive players would get into the gaps, like off of a nano blitz, they would stop for a second, stare at the quarterback, and then run at the quarterback. You probably have noticed it before, and you've probably raged at it because it's really stupid. Well, this year, A-gapping is back, meaning that they will literally just come through the gap and they won't stop, which means you will get screamed at, and you will have no time to even think about a decision. Um, And I think this is going to be one of the bigger uh make or break things of the game this year is because this also translates into defensive back blitzes can we get the tackles right this year can we make sure they block the defensive backs and not let them come through untouched same with the running back blocking so uh it's good that they're taking notice to this but i think it's going to be really big for them to focus on this this year user interceptions not always being responsive now this is an interesting one because one, this is one thing that I did notice was kind of a problem. I always had trouble uh, jumping for the ball when I was like in a, uh, a user pick situation. Now, what's interesting to me is the first um, little uh, thing there that says tuning to catch animations to increase range for jumping interceptions. Now, 
What's so interesting about that to me is that, is, does this mean that linebackers are going to be able to jump again? Obviously, for many years of Madden that we've been playing, the, the defensive back to linebacker meta has always been a thing to have higher jumping animations. You'd be able to cover more field. And earlier on, they said that DB to linebacker is going to make, make them slower on runs. So it looks like they're trying to maybe tune down on that meta and try to bring linebackers into a more useful position in the game. Now, once again, this is all just speculation, but I, I would like to see if, if they do do this, maybe they implement the jumping statistic for linebackers to be more useful and all that type of stuff. And then the second, uh, significantly decreased situations where players requesting play ball without getting animation. Um, what I was talking about earlier, how I wasn't able to get animations, so they're tuning down on that, which is good. Okay, on to the next. We have man coverage fakeouts are too frequent. Uh, didn't really notice this much, but I mean, good. I don't think that receivers should just be dropping cornerbacks like flies all the time if that was a problem and then we have too many fumbles next um definitely i don't I, did, I didn't notice too many fumbles being a problem in my time with the beta but I, obviously it was a problem so um you know good changes to tune down the fumbles and also to uh make quarterbacks still fumble which is good i think quarterbacks should fumble a lot if they're scrambling and get hit stick uh not enough hit stick variety New animations, awesome, that's super, uh, nothing super exciting there. Um, and then we have wide receivers should win more contested catches and mismatches. Definitely another thing that I, another thing that goes into what I was talking about with, uh, they're trying to go in the direction of making the physical attributes more useful to the actual player and in mismatch situations. Um, I'm totally fine with this. I think if you have a 6'5 receiver on a 5'9 corner, the 6'5 receiver should win a lot of the battles. You know, if you have a 6'2 receiver on a linebacker, I think the receiver should win every now and then because it's a linebacker, not as good coverage. So, uh, good changes. Hopefully it doesn't become a problem with, you know, just chucking it up and just catching every time. Hopefully they find some balance within that, but I think this is definitely a good direction that they're going in. And then the final thing uh, that I wanted to point out through the gameplay feedback was the skill-based pa skill based passing can be difficult to understand. Obviously, this is the new um, zone and the reticle that you get when you're passing. Um, obviously, there's going to be problems with people learning it. It's a totally new thing. It's, it's a lot to learn. A lot to get used to but um, as I mentioned in my Madden 23 post thoughts uh, on the beta post beta thoughts um, I think that I mentioned that there is a practice mode and you can literally go in and it will teach you about it and obviously here they're saying that they're gonna help you teach about it or learn it more during the start of the game all right, you guys, if you guys want to go read the full list of everything because I left out the franchise stuff, the link is going to be in the description. Guys, if you like that video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Support your boy. Put Hit the bell to get notifications next time I post. And I will see you guys in the next video.